A Lewistown area jeweler draws inspiration from Montana and Native American cultures to make beautiful pieces. MTN's Anissa Coomer takes us to Fergus County to meet Amanda Harms. In Lewistown today, I spoke with small business owner Amanda Harms, who creates handmade jewelry utilizing materials such as porcupine quills, beads, antler, and stones. So these I just sew each bead individually. I love creating the designs, like I'm able to just kind of map them out on my graph paper. I've always wanted to make my own jewelry, and I also have chronic health issues. So it was also something I could do no matter how I felt that day. And from there, it kind of turned into me giving away gifts to my family and friends afterwards, and they kind of encouraged me to maybe start selling them. So normally I cut them back pretty far so the quill doesn't get damaged. The porcupine quills actually were donated from my sister's vet. They are able to collect quills if dogs get a little too curious <laughs> and get hit by a porcupine, they're able to take uh, any of the quills that are still in great shape and intact and I'm able to clean them up and use them. Harm stitches each bead by hand, with each earring taking about four to eight hours to complete. She credits the inspiration for her jewelry style from her family's ranch in Dutton, Montana, as well as her father's previous work with jewelry. This one my father made in the 70s. He actually made CV jewelry when he was younger and used quills as well. And my mom was a geology major, um, so we always had crystals and stones laying around the house. Kind of combining those two things between my mom and dad were kind of created my love for jewelry. For more on Harms's Wild Skies jewelry, visit our website. I'm Anissa Coomer, MTN News.